Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick filming of some cards that I prepped. Two of them I'm giving away to my sisters, so I want them they're on their way. And I'll add this to another video. So I used, it's a, from AliExpress. And I just love it, but it's a time commitment. I did this one with Copics. And Copics on some of the circles, and then Stickles on the rest, and Nouveau drops, and different shimmery glittery pretty things and I think it turned out really pretty so that's it <laughs> I'm in a hurry anyway um, and then I did this one with King Art brush pens that I had gotten I believe at Tuesday morning so when I was organizing for my kids coming I would recommend these. Superior blendability, yes. I really liked how these came out color-wise. The richness, I used different colors. And did the same thing down here, but used the King Art. And then I added some blending. I cannot, I don't know where, I'm in such a hurry, though, so you know how it is. This is just crazy. We never get snow on Christmas. The day I got to get to the airport, we're getting snow. It's like, oh my gosh. And the problem here is the roads will freeze because they're wet. So I don't know. I'm hoping I can get to the airport. Okay. Just a little anxiety. Here we go. Anyway, here's this one. And this is again with the King Art. I just love them. I did some doodling on the side. Put some Hobby Lobby um, Holly. Hobby Lobby Holly. Anyway. I just really love these. These are so pretty, and so I wanted to get these filmed. I did, I don't know if you can tell, texture with Tammy had sent me those pretty embossing folders, so I did that for that one. And there you go. And on the inside, I did this. This comes from my HSN Crafter's Companion verse notebook. Notebook of verses or book of verses that I am part of. So, yes, I wanted to share those before I gave them away. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Kim, and I might insert a video of some cards I gave to my sisters today when they visited with their husbands. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back. And I'm going to start with an apology because a few ladies have sent me Christmas cards, and I put them somewhere safe while Tori was here, and I can't find them. I didn't want to open them until I came online, and now I don't know who they are. They will show up, and when they do, I will share them. But after Tori visited, I did get another one from Anna White. Um, she actually lives here in Washington, so kind of near my kiddos, so that's kind of cool. And maybe someday we can get together, Anna, when I'm up that way. So I wanted to share. She sent me... And I already tried this, and I had the lighting so bad I redid it. This was a little just hanging off, which is so cute. Ooh, those are my, my nails. But I wanted to redo because the lighting was terrible. And then this little cute little doily at the top on a glassine bag. And in there was, well, first, here's the card. Oh, my gosh, you guys. So cute. Look at this card. Isn't that adorable? She made the poinsettia. And this cute, and I don't know if you can see the little perforation around the design on the white tag there. It says, Happy Holidays. This cute deer. And then she said, Merry Christmas. And then for a favorite, just a little something for a favorite teacher. So thank you, Anna. And it came in this little ornament, Oops. which was adorable. Unfortunately, it didn't survive the trip, but the things inside it did. And inside there was this cute little stamp, and I just love the little ornament plastic idea for just shipping goodies. And it had some um, pretty holographic stuff around it. So it came in this and a little red stamp block. So perfect. Thank you, Anna. I love it. I think I'm going to put this and this at school, and that way I can stamp things when I write notes to teachers and stuff. So there you go. I love it. I actually got a message from another. Here's the stuff that it came in. Isn't this pretty? I don't know if you can see that it's iridescent. But anyway, I'm a teacher at school. Sorry to talk to you about work. And I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to. 
Anyway, it was a quick question. She's fine. So I did do some coloring, and I have, I can't, of course, find the stamp. I don't know. If you can lose it, if it can be lost, it will be lost by me. But I did this one with Copics, and just love this design. But then I fill each circle with either stickles or um, just Cop Copic colored some of them. And so I really love that. And it says Winter Blessings there. So I already showed a couple of them that I did with my King Art pens. Let me, I think I have, yes. When I was moving stuff, the kids ended up coming and they were going to stay in my trailer. And my son calls, he goes, Mom, it's really cold in here. And I go, oh, you'll figure it out. And <laughs> Riley's in the back. I mean, we're really cold. So I didn't want them to come because they have dogs, right? One Pyrenees. They're very good dogs, but I'm not supposed to have pets. I said, get over here. So anyway, they stayed with me, so I needed to clear out. Because next to my bed is my art drawing. I hadn't put them in my little hutch. So that long story to tell you that I use these, and I love them. I got them at Tuesday morning for $19.99. You get 48 brush pens by King Art, and they blend so nicely. Really like, and it's such a vibrant color. So that was really fun. I did use those. I did a... Um, stamp for this set a card cling heavenly birds and the only thing i'm not happy with is how dark brown the birds are they look like teddy bears but whatever i should have done like a gray or something but other than that i really like it and i did like i said everything and i have um gel pens and stuff that came in a kit from Diamond Dyes, Diamond Press, rather, um, on HSN. So, and I did an embossing folder behind. I needed a big one, so this popped up in my Crafter's Companion and behind, because I knew enough, it wasn't really going to show. It just adds dimension. I took, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There we go. Um, gel pens and went around it all the blue and all the little stars. Then I went in with a clear stickles. So it happens to be right here. I mean, seriously, it's a mess. What is this? Stickles crystals. So it just takes on, you know, it's not a color. And then Hobby Lobby, um, Hobby Lobby Holly, little smaller ones. So yeah, it, they're okay, but like I said, I'm not real crazy about how dark the birds came out. We're our own worst critics, right? And then I did, I had that stamp that's a, gingerbread stamp i think it's a psx which evidently is means something it's like collectible or valuable anywho it just i think it's cute so i went in and did with the uh, brush pens again this i think we did brush pens on both of them this is a lighter brown and i did it on a um smooth cart or watercolor paper this one i did in that darker brown and i'm not as excited about this one you know what? Here's the deal. I believe, don't quote me, like anybody would quote me, but anyway, I think this one was Copics and this was the brush marker. See how dark and vibrant the colors are on the brush marker? So you just have to be careful what you use on it because it will come out quite, and maybe it's because of the paper I use. I don't know. So I need to do something with those. And, of course, I've been shopping, and I've been just kind of hanging on to stuff because I haven't had time. I don't know. What is it about the holidays? It's like, so I had the kids this weekend. So much fun. Oh, my gosh. And it ended up that Emma and Kristen could come and Brian and see Tori. It was going to be where they just missed each other. And they got to see each other because Tori was quite upset that Emma, Emma, she thinks Emma lives with Grandma, right? Because she's always over here when they come. So they got to be together. So that was awesome. And I went to a family party on my grand or my daughter-in-law's. But I did go and found some block stamps, wood block stamps. Here's Noah's Ark. I just think that's adorable. Rubber Stampede. If these are more, these weren't Christmas, which is fine because Christmas is almost over. Little bun. Oh, goes this way. Dirt. Goes this way. And we had Thanksgiving on Sunday, or turkey dinner. And then today with my leftovers, I used to always make it um, turkey enchiladas. So I made those for my, everybody, my company today with this cute, cute Easter egg. And it's brand, I think it's brand new. 
This is Smith and Row, Al, Al, alias Smith and Row, Las Vegas. I don't know what. This one was Art Impressions. Okay, they're still around, right? I think. That's just too cute. And original Salem, Oregon, 1996. This one, it's kind of fun to collect these, but anyway. And then I got this whole bag for $3.99. Easter, Easter's on its way. Sorry. Cute. I don't know who this is. Santa Rosa, made in U.S. Night, PSX, 1996. Woohoo! <laughs> it's brand new. Never used, which is cool. Of course, I don't. This is, I believe, oh, rubber stampede. I was thinking it was a, isn't that kitten cute? Oh, my gosh. Happy Easter, PSX 1987. So I'm ready for Easter. I have to do everything six months in advance, I think. This is kind of cool. This is different. This is another uh, uh, alias Smith & Row Las Vegas. I have no clue. Isn't that cute? A little spinning egg. This is kind of a different, I hadn't noticed this one yet. I haven't gone through all of them. It's got this kind of edge on it. I think it went in a mounting. Jeez, Kim, hold it up right. But it's like hugging the egg. I don't know, it's not going to show it. Yeah. There you go. Because you need to see it because you might want it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so funny how we share everything in the name. and It's just for fun. Rubber Stamps of America, Vermont. Well, this is a 4th of July one. A little firecracker. My boys back in the day, we were that neighbor that everybody hated. Oh my gosh. This is Inka Dinka Doo. Inka Dinka Doo. That's a fun one. Boston. Isn't that cute? Now that could be Valentine's Day. Well, I could color it up any way you want, but isn't that cute? And these are all brand new. Yeah, baby. This is the Vegas people again. Little, oh, jeez, Kim. You guys are so patient. I can't believe you still watch me. <laughs> it's like, oh, there you go. Look at this. More fireworks kind of thing, but not mounted fireworks. But it has the plastic on the back, so you can mount, you know. They probably took them off the, oh, inka dinka do. Does that go with, the, it must go with the ribbon, hmm, the bow, rather. And then this is happy birthday, big boy. Oh, there you go. Just not mounted. And then here's another weird little B-Day, it says. It's got a cone, happy birthday to you. You're not going to be able to see that, but anyway, it's got a cone. Believe me, just take it for granted. Where am I at? 10.54. This is going to be a long one. So I did my, um, oops, I'm going to fan myself. My Dollar Tree is kind of emptying out. It's getting in the new stuff and get rid of the Christmas. And I think they do that right before they raise the prices. They kind of clear everything out and then start raising. Because I'm not to $1.25 yet. Yet. But anyway. I've heard that's kind of what's been happening, but I found this cute little box, and it has a twine handle. I haven't seen that one yet at my stores anyway, so I grabbed that so that I can add it to my giant stash. I went to my local scrapbook store, or scrapbook thrift store, and found this cute cutting board, so I use this today with my sisters here. They were all love my decorations. So I think this is my new, because I'm in the middle. My one sister lives up toward the Canadian border, and the other sister lives down by my dad south of us. And I'm right in the middle. So it was really fun to have them over and get to, you know, I, I'm i here by myself, so it's fun to have everybody over and come and enjoy um, with me. So all my efforts were and at a Goodwill store. Look at these. They're glass balls. They look like old-fashioned. I don't believe they are. But, oh my gosh, I got a whole set, or just like four of these. I don't think I grabbed, I already had them on my tree. And there's one more that goes, it was three. Aren't those gorgeous? So I grabbed those because I was like, yes, please, I love them. 
And I found this one at my local. And of course, it's going to be teal and my red. So that one, and it's a glass one as well. So it goes up high. It's perfect for Tory. I said, there's nothing in this place. If it is valuable, I have it up high. But as I've explained, I don't have old family heirloom Christmas because of my journey and leaving it all behind. So it's kind of, you know, it is what it is, but it means that I'm not freaking out if she touches anything. And Tori was very good. I mean, I couldn't believe it. She just didn't hardly mess with anything. She just looked and she played with, I gave her the little village and different things. So anyway, at that Goodwill, I got the a set of these. And I was going to put them in my sister's on their bags. And I totally forgot this morning. They're little angels. So... I guess I'll save them for next year. So I got two of those, and they were $1.99 each. This was at my local scrap, or I keep calling it a scrapbook store, thrift store. And I just, of course, my tiered tray that I built, the little red one, this goes right on it. And what my sister wants is to go, now, she goes, the crystal-like plastic, reindeer from Dollar Tree. She goes, you didn't get this at Dollar Tree. I go, yep. And then she'd hold up a, those trees that you turn on and they change color. And she goes, this is a doll. I go, yep. <laughs> she goes, oh my God. They were quite in, impressed with how I could shop in Dollar Tree and make it look high end, right? Okay, at my local, and I'm glad I went there because everything at Christmas was 50% off. And then I got another 25% off for being old. She goes, I hate to ask this, but are you over 55? I go, yeah. She goes, you get another 25% off? I'm like, I'm happy to do it. So I got this, and I couldn't find it today, of course. And it's just a napkin holder. It was originally at Ross. I got it for $1.50 and then $25 off of that, so like $1.20 or something. So it's a napkin holder. So very pretty. And then these are, it's called bean bag filler, but they're like, and I'm sure that is, I'm not downing them, but they're like beads. It's not like snow for shaker bags. Jerice. So I got these for whatever, $1.99 times less 25%. And I found this primitive, I think it's had things on it that have come off. So I went ahead and got it. I just thought it was cute. It's got like, it's wood, and it's got like rusty pieces on it. Nap, or, oh my god, seriously. It's a good thing I'm not working, because I would mislead children. I would teach them completely. <laughs> Mittens and little feet. Isn't that cute? And I just need to fix it up a little bit. And then I, I need staples, right? These were 99 cents, so 75 cents for me. And then they still had some of this, so I ended up getting this one. It was there earlier when I was there, and I got the tonic stuff. So I got this one, $1.99, so $1.75 or something. Best Friends, it's by Tonic Studios. Best Friends Forever Whimsical Frame Set. Then, but wait, there's more. So I got ended up with four of these. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but they're options boxes. I believe they're the 12 by 12. Let's see. Just under 12 by 12. Not quite 12 by 12, I don't think. Yep, they're 12 by 12. So I got each was $1.99, so $1.50 maybe for me with my 25 off. So that was perfect. Woohoo! So I got a purple one. Creative options, and they had a whole, so I'm going to put 12 by 12, darn. I mean, the price we're paying right now for these darn things, and this one, they come with latches, and I'm going to put some of those wood stamps in there. And green one. <laughs> you got to see all the colors when we come up. I was only going to get one or two, and I thought, ah, for that price, why not? And then this one teal of course i love that so yeah i think they came as a set maybe i don't know but let's yeah like a dollar 55 each i'm doing the math in my head which is kind of scary because i can't remember words much less numbers and i think 
Where is it? Oh, I got this at, this is a different, I hadn't seen, I've seen them with just the clear. Margaret takes and puts in here the upside down, she puts the um, solar light in there, and you can fill it with fairy lights, or you can fill it with stuff in there, and then, you know, you've got yourself a little cute little layup for outside. So, I just really like that shape, So I thought, and the color. So, we got that to fiddle with. Let me look around, because I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. I think that's it. The rest of what I got at Dollar Tree was just paper towels and boring stuff like that. So, Oh, and I do have a question. If you got to the end, it's not when I get no award. Um, my brother-in-law got two life jackets. They have a boat for their grandsons, and he wanted me to put stuff on it with my Cricut. It says stuff, you know, like vinyl. But I don't think, and Margaret doesn't think we, I can, because you'd have to iron it on, and it's a nylon, you know, it's a life jacket. So if anybody knows if I can, and if so, how I could do that for him, let me know. Leave a comment below. All right, guys. It's coming down to the wire. Oh, I knew there was something else. I got this for $2, 2 bucks. This little pot, and I served olives in it today. Isn't he cute? Little Santa pottery. It's got this lid. I don't know where it came from as far as originally, but I love that glazed old pottery look. And it says on there in gold, ho, ho, ho. And his little hat goes all the way around. So there's that. I got a video of Miss Tori. They have tons of snow, so I'm so excited. Once I get over there, I don't care, because they have four-wheel drive, and he's used to it. It's flat. It's different over there than it is here. We shut down the world if we get less than an inch. I mean, it's just, boop, nobody goes anywhere, and I just, so I get to stay and um, stay there, get there safely, fly there, no worries, so excited. So, yes, I'm very excited about Christmas, as I'm sure you all are as well, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, this went on way too long, so if you hung in there, thank you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.